So you know the old joke, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. Here in Melbourne, it goes like this. How do you get to the Australian Open? Row, row, row your boat. And that's what I'm gonna do today with the help of the Melbourne Rowing Club. The Melbourne Rowing Club is one of the oldest in the country, dating back to 1862. And from these boats that skim across the Yarra River have come men and women who've traveled the waters of the world. Tennis Channel's Jim Currier famously celebrated his two Aussie Open wins by jumping in the nearby Yarra. But I was looking to stay dry, and boy, would I need some help. So Jen Kilby has been rowing here for 10 years, so you must be very good. Well, you know, I tried. Someone said it takes you 10 years to actually learn to row, so I might be just coming into it now. What are the basics that someone like me, an utter novice, would need to know to get on the Yarra River? It's going to take you a while to <laughs> learn the absolute skill of it. If we capsize, you know, this we could are, be an issue. Well, I'm not intending to capsize. Okay, good. I have done it, but I'm not intending to okay. today. What is this called? This is called a zooty. In Australia, it's called a zooty. A zooty? Yeah. All right. Do so, I get a zooty? I think we could find one for you. We'd better Let's go, go. Out as a crew. Let's go. After a quick tutorial in the gym, we drive through the stroke and we feather it and finish. So the hands are the last thing to come to the body and the first thing to leave the body. I was a willing recruit. Feather, hands out over the knees. That's it. Tuck your bum up. Tuck in my bum. Ready to scoot. Are you ready? Go. Row. Go. Rockin' my zoot suit. Getting the boat into the water was a resounding success. All right. But it sort of went sideways from there. Don't square it up. Bury your blade. Put your neck they make it down. look so easy, but believe me, it's not. Square, bury, throw. I wanted to pull my own weight and master this symphonic art form. Oh, for God's sake, she got a stroke. <laughs> but in what could be the ultimate team sport. Don't turn your head. I was the tragically weak link. What are you doing? <laughs> I know so much about tennis. Ask me anything. Out! <laughs> Just get out! Get the hell out. All right, fine. <laughs> Call you if we need tennis lessons. <laughs> fine! I learned a lot about myself that day. Mostly that I should stay on land. <laughs> 